Hi team. So first of all, a warm welcome to all of you to this master class of Ajireka session. First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Praveen. I have more than 11 years of experience into the IT industry where I, uh, I worked as a developer and then I trained more than 200 students on the RPA. I have more than seven years of experience into .NET where I did the development into .NET, but that is doing the automation as well. Uh, in dotnet as well we were using third party tool and uh, we did the automation after that i have more than five years of experience of development into uh, ui path and uh, since three years i'm working with uh, direka as well so what what is the agenda the agenda will be what is rpa okay so in the U ui path is kind of tool but what exactly the ui path is and why do we use it right so we we will be learning about the technology which is rpa robotic process automation okay then we will be learning about the uipath studio what is uipath studio some introduction basic introduction of that then how can we do the web automation how can we extract the data from the browser from many of the website also using automation automatically then usage of it then how does ui automation work and showing you some hands on now guys let's start what is rpa okay Okay, so RPA is a robotic process automation. Okay, guys. So this RPA is nothing but it's a technology like we uh, we have other like .NET, Java, and other technologies, right? So RPA is a robotic process automation, uh, which we have in RPA different different processes. So it's nothing but like whatever daily work we do on the daily basis. It's a repetitive task or the or any repetitive task or daily mundane uh, task we do in our organization those we can automate in the uh, in the rpa so in the if you see about the manufacturing industries there are some robots which do all the work but here in the software industry we have a software uh, and then using that tool we can make a workflow or we can make the robot that robot will do your all the daily day-to-day uh, -day activities and uh, all those are like which are repetitive and then task-based work okay so let's understand further uh, so now what is the actually we will understand each of every word meaning one by one so robotic so what is robotic okay so robotic it means it mimics human action okay anything which is mimic human action we'll call a robot for example in our software industry where we uh, suppose we type something in one of the text box or click on button okay or do some any activity or visit any website so that thing we are doing by human right so that if we do the automation then we call it as a robot so that is what the meaning of mimicking a human action okay whatever manual work we do we can mimic that so that is called a robotic okay so further we will learn about that process so what what exactly the process is see process is nothing but a sequence of steps which lead to meaning, meaningful activity it means sequence of step it means like if you take an example of like banking industry okay so in the banking industry if you want to go and you want to withdraw a cash what is the steps right what 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 steps you will be following so you will just take a um, withdrawal slip you will fill out the slip okay you may you may now need to attach this uh, check as well so you will fill the check whatever amount you will be getting and then you will attach with that and then you will submit in the cash counter okay so your first step is taking the slip second step is filling the slip third step is filling the check fourth step is giving it to cash counter then cash counter will verify your signature and then give the cash right so these are all what sequence of steps you are following so that is what is called as process this is one of the process now in the software industry there are lot of lot of processes small small processes step by step processes which you can automate so once you automate is is it is called rpa it means robotic process automation okay so this is uh, what uh, the meaning of process now let's talk about automation automation is done by robot without human intervention it means once you build the robot and then you do did the automation now you are not touching manually okay all the things are being done by the robot so that is called is automation okay so that will be like you may schedule the bot or um, on particular date and time on that date and time it will automatically run your entire process so you don't need to touch any uh, uh, manually okay so that is what is called uh, automation so 
this is what is the meaning of RPA robotic process automation okay now if you can see the meaning meaning of it like robotic plus process equals to plus automation equals to robotic process automation the same so now this is nothing but in the slide it is a technical definition what we learned we just like merged it and and made the statement like mimicking human actions to perform a sequence of step to lead meaningful activity without any human intervention is known as rpa guys okay so this is a technical definition okay so let's go to next slide so now uh, guys in rpa we have different different tools like automation anywhere blue prism nice and work fusion blue prism in ui path so the industry leading uh, currently the tool is ui path okay so we will just introduce about the ui path so now if you can see here the ui path has been named leader with the highest possible score so if you can see mouse cursor here first sap then ant work then another monday pegasus crayon cofax okay nice blue prism work fusion okay automation anywhere and then on the top ui path okay so this is what is the current market uh, strategy okay so this you can see here also why we give preference to ui path guys if you can see the trend going as per year uh, yearly trend for the ui path you can see here how it is growing the fastest growing company in the north america on deloitte 2019 technology fast for 500 companies so if you can see here the trend is continuously growing okay now we can see the clients these are have big clients like airbus dhl hp fusifilm autodesk okay so let's go to next slide okay now in the third point we will be learning like what exactly the ui path can do okay so it's a one small part of it which is a web automation which is helpful to enter any data into the web okay on the browser okay so what exactly the web automation the web automation is the process of automation which you can identify the web elements by their attributes and manipulate them accordingly it means in the website there will be suppose if you open any of the website i want to open i want to show you one website for example this is the website right so all these things are ui elements okay all all everything is a ui element this button or this text or this label so if you want to get this tick read, read this text or you want to click on this button you want to do anything so that is what is called web automation okay so these are all attributes of it and we can work with that attributes okay so that's why we call it as a web automation so now how the structured learning in edureka see you can learn rpa from anywhere not an issue it's not a big deal now because everything learn everything is a free of cost right so you youtube and everything is there but see one until and unless you don't go in a structured way suppose if you want to learn uh, english or you want to learn english communication so how will you go you will go first and learn e b c d right and after that you making the word then after making the sentence then grammar grammatical then learning uh, sorry listening and then speaking skills right and then writing skills so this is how the, in a structured way you go to learn any of the technology to learn any of the thing right so but edureka is one of the platform uh, online e-learning platform platform and which is successful and training more than thousands of students on the rpa ui path since uh, many years so how the structured way so first like we go through the introduction of robotic process automation so we don't directly jump on the like any of the project or anything we first learn what is rpa and what is ui path and then so we give the introduction the history of it what how rpa came into picture since when it is came and everything and then we go for slowly slowly so if you can see some introduction of the robotic process automation and along with moving on the part we go we go on hands-on as well hands-on practice as well since i already told you right we have 10 plus years of and 15 plus years of experience people so they will give you hands of training as well them case studies and all so now after the introduction of rpa we go for the ui path overview it means we give introduction about ui path and all okay so once we go in the ui path uh, of the overview and then we understand what all components and activities we are using in the uh, ui path okay and then um, then again we go on the fourth point which 
which we understand that app integration and recording and scraping it means app integration it means as you as you know we work on third party tools or any of the other application for the automation so we 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 can uh, integrate any of the like sap or email or uh, excel word powerpoint anything we can integrate in our uh, ui path and then we can do the automation on that so we will understand how to integrate those applications how to do recordings recordings it means whatever you do the steps you just record it and later on you the same will be performed by the robot and scraping scraping it means scraping it means getting all the details from the any of the website or any of the windows application okay so then further we have a fifth point data manipulation and pdf automation data manipulation it means how to work with the data suppose you have a la lacks of records okay uh, 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 it's a raw data so you do some manipulations for example i'll give you an example of excel in the excel you you are any of the department so there, you, there will be a lack of records so you do some v lookups h, h lookups some dashboard kind of thing and thing you manipulate the raw data and make it in a structured format so that you everybody can read and understand the data okay so do the analysis of it so that data manipulation you will understand then pdf automation any of the pdf file for example resume or any of the invoices how to uh, work with those pdf automation then programming debugging and logging programming is the one of the concept like where you, everybody like in the suppose somebody is from dotnet background or somebody is from the background so who knows uh, what is programming so here what happened is when we develop a workflow we also need to take care of like logging and de uh, debugging and exception handling of it it means what happens is guys you develop the project okay but de after developing the project you need to make sure that you are, have followed the best practices why because once you develop the project you deploy it in the production and in the production if any issue comes in any problem comes in how will you maintain that project right so you you should it should be maintainable right so for example take a manufacturing uh, example so once you have um, like you have run the uh, process and you are putting a raw material and you want to get the output so now in the process if somewhere in middle of some middle, middle of the process if any machine is not working or anything then your bot will fail right so your robot will fail and it will come out so likewise uh, in the programming also after the de robot development the if any problem comes in then the robot will stop uh, then in that case we need to understand that why it is stopped what is the issue for that we use the debugging and logging and exception handling so in using these techniques we can maintain our bot very well and also uh, i would say the maintenance part will be very uh, very within very very less period of time we'll understand the issue and we'll be able to resolve the issue and our i would say our transaction will not stop our bot will continue okay even any issue comes in so guys uh, after that we will understand what is orchestrator and then community addition and other rpa tools so community addition in orchestrator is one of the addition uh, like which is um, which is free of cost for the students so they can use it and install on their system and then start using it free of cost okay we'll also compare with other rpa tools like automation anywhere and all and along with this in in the entire journey we do the hands on training as well okay we give the hands on training the entire project and finally we big, make a big project okay for certification also we give the project then implement the re framework this is one kind of best practices framework created by uh, uipath only re framework can be found in any of the other tools you cannot find it so using this rp re framework you can directly uh, do the programming even a new programmer is there if he knows very well re framework then it is very good for him okay then we understand about the overview of uipath products so this is how the entire journey goes guys in a structured way manner okay so now uh, let's go on the fourth point the fourth point is usage uh, of web automation okay so what all the usage of web automation is data extraction data extraction it means we can extract all the data from the web for example this is a browser okay and the browser is and here one website is open you can extract all this data entire data you can extract this one this this so this is what is called extraction we can do with the web automation recording recording it means now you are typing something you are clicking on something you clicked here you clicked here all these things steps can be recorded so there's a recording option is there website testing so uh, now suppose new website is generated 
so you will do the testing for that you can do the testing like whether this click is working or not and all okay and further we have a report generation and tra application transfer so report on uh, report also can be generated from the website automatically and then we can uh, like uh, uh, application transfer it means we can do the migration on the cloud and all okay so how does ui automation work so ui automation uh, uses a built-in recorder which can read and extract the web based activities it means this is what is explained in the backend technology why it is able to like extract the data and uh, how it can it works with the web okay so th this is used a built-in recorder which which will automatically read the ex and extract the data okay so it identifies the elements okay so it identifies these elements what this button or this label okay in the back end if any of the technology if you can see in the back end there will be a code so this control ids and using these codes it understand okay this is what the element is and i have to click on this button or i have to write something in that okay so guys we can wrap up for today thank you so much